people always ask me ki sunny how to start data structures and algorithms which resources shall we follow and how much time shall we give for each and every concept how many questions to practice from each topic and a lot of other questions so today in this video we are going to go through the most reliable and the best resources i personally used in this last 3 years so hey guys this is sanyu lucen and you're watching cs for all so let's get started so before you move on to data structures you should be familiar with a particular programming language it can be c++ it can be java or python or javascript or any other language of your choice if you don't know which language you should choose watch this video up here in the i button some great resources to learn programming languages are exorcism code wars codality hacker art spear online judge code shift and code forces now let's move into the data structures so before we roll into individual topics first you should build a foundation for computer science some of the books i would recommend are for c you can choose algorithms in c by robert sagewick for python you can choose data structures and algorithms in python by goodrich for java you can choose data structures and algorithms in java by goodrich and for c++ you can choose data structures and algorithms in c++ by goodrich or algorithms in c++ by sedgwick i will leave links to all these books in the video description go check those out specifically for interview preparation you can choose any of the following books programming interviews exposed by john mongan or cracking the interviews by gel lackman mcdowell if you have tons of extra time you can choose any of the following elements of programming interviews in c++ or python or java all these books are written by adnan aziz I will leave all the links in the description. We will be covering all the topic-wise resources for data structures and algorithms in few minutes. Before that, I would recommend you to go through coding interview questions on Lead Code, Hacker Rank, Top Coder, Geeks for Geeks, Interview Bit, Project Tutor, and so on on a daily basis while you are learning DSA. You can refer to some YouTube playlists by I Deserve, Tushar Roy, Nick White. Fisher code for video solutions. Now let's start with the DSA resources. Starting off with time complexity and space complexity analysis, nothing to implement here. You will be just watching videos and taking notes. There are a lot of videos here. Just watch enough until you understand it. You can always come back and review. Don't worry if you don't understand all the math behind it. You just need to understand how to express the complexity of an algorithm in terms of Pigo. So some of the video resources which you can follow are Harvard CS50 asymptotic notation video, CS373 lecture 2 for 2020 by Steven Skiena, CS61B lecture 19 asymptotic analysis by UC Berkeley, amortized analysis by Professor Bell. You can also go through computational complexity section 1 and section 2 by top coder. It will also cover up recurrence relations and master theorem. There is also a cheat sheet. I will leave each and every link in the description. When you go through cracking the coding interview book, there is a chapter on this. and at the end there is a quiz to see if you can identify the runtime complexity of different algorithms definitely go through that coming to data structures first we have arrays some of the resources which you can follow are cs61b lecture 5 iteration and arrays 1 then there's an array video in the subsection of a coursera course there is another subsection for dynamic arrays in the same coursera course Then there's a video on JAG arrays on YouTube by Hemant Maria. We'll leave all the links in the description. Coming on to linked lists, resources which you can follow are CS61B linked lists one and linked lists two. You can also watch singly linked list sections of the Coursera course I stated earlier. If you want to know the difference between linked list and arrays, you can check these two videos from Coursera. If you want to know why you should avoid linked lists, 
check this video by S.A. Sandro. For doubly linked lists, you can watch this video from Coursera. I will leave all the links. Coming to Stack, this is a very good video by Coursera which you can follow. Talking about queues, this video by Coursera is sufficient. You can read about circular buffer that is first in first out from Wikipedia. We'll leave the links. Coming to hash tables, there are several video resources as well as online courses which you can follow. To name some of them, hashing with chaining, table doubling, carp raven, open addressing, cryptographic hashing, randomization, universal and perfect hashing, all these videos are by MIT OpenCourseWare. You can check all of this out. If you want online courses, there are main core hash tables and phone book data structure by Coursera. If you want to know about distributed hash tables, you have Julia's Diary and Julia's Bank by Coursera. I will leave all the links. Next we have Binary Search. I'm going to tell you four resources. First is CS50 Binary Search video. Then we have an article on binary search by Khan Academy. We have blogs on top coder as well as lead code. The lead code version of binary search is in Python. We'll leave the links. Coming to bitwise operations, we have an introductory video on bit manipulations by Max School. We have bit hacks video by MIT OpenCourseWare. If you are more into blogs, you can definitely check this article on Wikipedia. If you want to practice some bitwise operations, you can come to this playground and have some fun. If you want an in-depth video on ones and twos complements, you can check this video by Computer File. We'll leave the links. Coming to trees for an in-depth introduction on trees, you can check this video out by Coursera. For learning breadth first search and depth first search, you can check this video by Vivekanand. Coming to binary search trees, there are tons of resources, but the best ones which you can follow are binary search trees introduction by Coursera and binary trees part 1 by MIT OpenCourseWare. For exploring more functionalities of binary search trees, you can watch video number 28 to 37 of my code school data structures playlist. We'll leave all the links in the description. Coming to heaps, again tons of resources. To have a basic understanding, you can watch this series of videos from Coursera popping up on the screen. If you prefer resources from MIT, you can watch this video on heaps and Hepsort. For priority queues, you can watch CS61B Lecture 24. If you want to know how to build a heap in linear time, watch this video. And if you prefer reading articles, you can check this out on Wikipedia. Links to all will be in the video description. Next we have sorting. For merge sort, you can watch these 5 videos by Coursera popping up on the screen one by one. For quick sort, you can watch these 4 videos. If you prefer UC Berkeley, you can watch these videos coming on the screen. For bubble sort, you can watch this video by xox.net. For insertion sort, you can watch this lecture by MIT OpenCourseWare. For quick sort, you can watch this video by xox.net. For selection sort, you can watch this video. If you want to learn about radix sort, you can watch this video by TechRetox. If you want to learn sorting in linear time, you can watch this video by MIT OpenCourseWare. We'll leave all the links in the video description. Moving on to graphs, you can enroll in this algorithms on graphs course by Coursera. If you prefer YouTube videos, you can watch lecture 10 to lecture 15 of CS373 playlist by Skeena. We'll leave the links. Coming to recursion, you can watch lecture 8 to 11 by Stanford on YouTube. If you want a video on tail recursion, you can check this one out by Coursera. Coming to dynamic programming, you can watch lecture 19 to 21 by Skeena from the CSE 373 YouTube playlist. Probability is a very important topic. To go through probability, you can check this video by Khan Academy. You can also watch this video by Spoonful of Maths. If you want to learn in depth, you can check this one by Make School. Coming to greedy algorithms, you can check this in-depth video on YouTube by Coder Island. 
For string searching and manipulations, you can check these series of videos by Coursera popping up on your screen. For tries, you can check these series of videos from Coursera again popping up on the screen. You can also go through this video by MIT Open Courseware. So now we are at the very end of the video. Learn all these things if you are a beginner. Once you get to an intermediate level and want to explore more, I would be leaving links to some advanced resources in the video description. Do check those out. By studying all these, you will get greater exposure to CS concepts and will be better prepared for software engineering jobs. You will be a much more well-rounded software engineer. So that's it for today's video. If this video brought some value to your life, consider dropping a like. To support us, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Do let us know on what topic you want the next video to be. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.